More than 53 million Americans are at an increased risk for bone fractures, according to the National Institute of Health. The good news, experts say there are many ways you can lower your risk of developing osteoporosis. In tonight's Health Beat, Kelloland Sophie Heineman is finding out what you can do. When warm weather appears in Kelloland, Alta Gorder says she used to be found in the garden. Now she's doing less planting and more lifting. All kinds of machines. I work with all kinds of the machines and uh, work with balance. Gorder is living with osteoporosis and says the disease has pushed her to get more exercise and change up her diet. Dr. Alice Zamolko says the bone disease can be fatal, and right now we're experiencing an epidemic. It's causing decreased bone density, bone mass, and makes bones weak, fragile, to the point that uh, patients may develop fragility fracture without any significant trauma, so low impact. Zamolko says the earlier people begin making lifestyle changes, such as consuming more vitamin D and calcium, as well as weight-bearing exercises, the better. There's a lot of uh, can be done in uh, changing lifestyle, uh, which is free of side effects and free of any cost. Doctors say women aged 65 and up should begin receiving DEXA scans, and women with risk factors should begin even sooner. Without knowing you have osteoporosis, falling could result in a bone fracture, which the MOCO says can lead to more issues down the road. And with that in mind, Gorder says keep moving, but do it safely. We use a cane if you have to, whatever. You need to be very careful. Think about what's on the floor and did I put that down right? I don't want to get my feet tangled. Zamolko adds that it's important to start doing preventative tasks now before the problem arises. With Health Beat, I'm Sophie Heineman.